hello hi welcome to the anti-answer haul for the month of august of 2023 yes the anti-anti haul the longest running series on this channel been doing it for many years now so if you have never experienced one before feel free to check them out but if you don't feel like doing that i will explain to you right now what this is so i'm going to look back at the past month which was august all the releases that came out that had some type of physical and i'm going to talk about it unless i bought it because we're not here to talk about the things i did buy we're all about talking about not buying things yay if however you are interested in the things i bought well there is a series for that and it's called the anti anti haul where i talk about the stuff i did buy as well as releases that didn't have a physical it is one dollar on the oh my patreon but we're here to talk about the anti haul which wow the month of august um <laughs> i had to make cuts i literally cut at least four things from my list because there's so much to talk about i will like to say i actually didn't buy a single album in the month of august please clap now i did buy albums in august i just didn't buy them in august but i bought albums that came out in august i just bought them like in july but i still went a whole month an entire month without buying a single album so also everything i talk about in the anti haul and the anti anti haul is listed in a playlist below as well as a separate playlist which is just just my favorites just the songs i like so if that intrigues you check them out i think that's everything let's get started the wind ready summer vacation this is a new boy group that i'm pretty sure i talked about like a few months ago I don't know, they keep putting out music. It is a single, I think there are like three songs. They got a fun concept, that's cool. I just think they're fine and I don't feel attached to them. So that is a no from me. Zykers, House of Tricky, How to Play. Zykers. <laughs> I was really hoping to like them because I really love ATs and Zykers is the the baby brother of 80s but i didn't like this it was noisy and i didn't care for the noise and i think overall for a concept they still sound a lot like 80s they're not quite 80s but they're not distanced enough from the AT sound and I think that bothers me I don't like when new groups from the same company just sound like a past group I want something fresh because if I want that sound I'll just go to the other group I hope they find their identity I hope they're not just noise but at the same time there are people who like that sound and that is a group for them then and not for me and that's fine Quan Inby The Flash very chung ah of her which I'm not complaining I liked it I think this is one of my more favorite NB tracks. It's still no Glitch. Glitch is by far my favorite, but she's growing on me a lot as a solo artist. But in general, I don't really like buying solo artists. And also in general, her music, I'm enjoying it more, but I never actually really seek it out, which I feel like that's all the more reason to not collect. Trying to not spend money, right? Mamamoo Plus, Two Rabbits. I drew, <laughs> that was my note. <laughs> I've talked about this before with Mamamoo Plus. When I think of a subunit, I want the subunit to be distinct from the full group because that's the fun of subunits is you get to do something a bit different. This feels like Hwasa and Wien just didn't want to record <laughs> a full group album or a single or whatever this was. So we have Solar Moon Mule just doing regular Mama Moo songs. I don't dislike it. I just don't want it. I don't know. I just wish there was more of a vision for this subunit. I do love how the album looks. The bunnies. It's cute, it's playful, it's not the consistent Mamamoo packaging, which is very weird. I don't really like consistent packaging that much anyway, so I like that they're having a bit more fun in the packaging for this subunit. I've also just, I don't buy Mamamoo stuff, so I'm not gonna buy this, so I won't. I like how you can see my eyes. 
kind of creepy looking. I don't know. I'm also seeing them through the sunglasses, so I don't know how like quite how visible they are. Oh, BB girls, one more time. We're gonna celebrate. Oh yeah. So if you don't know, BB Girls is Brave Girls. We have a new name because they have left Brave Sound. They're now under Universal, I think. So we have a little name change to BB Girls, <laughs> which is cute, I guess. And this was a single and I actually really like both songs. I like One More Time. I like Lemonade. Good, cool stuff. I'm not going to buy it. It's a platform version, which... <sighs> But it is a single album, so I can forgive platform versions for single albums. I don't really like them, but it at least makes more sense. But I do not own Brave Girl stuff, so I will not be buying this. Limelight, Madeline. Limelight, back already with a single, as in like literally one song, and platform version. Three versions of that platform version. They have member version, platform versions. I'm going to scream. <laughs> I am sick of all these member versions and now platform measure. So Madeline, the song is not my favorite Limelight song. Actually, it might be my least favorite. I've kind of been like going back and forth on if I want to collect Limelight. I have their debut, pre-debut. I have their pre-debut. I think even if I do end up collecting Limelight, I don't want to buy these because I just don't, I don't like buying platform versions. For the most part, I actually really just don't. Because it just feels like a waste of my money to buy just like a little kind of thing. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Jun Somi. Game plan. Somi's been growing on me these days. Oh, I should have tried to do her outfit for this month. That could have been fun. Because I'm so obsessed with the styling for her this era. It's so good. The photo book is stunning. Both of them. Both of the versions are so gorgeous. Like I've... I wanted to buy them just for the photo book alone even though i'm never gonna look at that photo book like ever again after opening it but i don't care i just want it <laughs> but as for the actual release itself i like it it's fun the little beep beep you know it's catchy i don't know i enjoy this release from her like i've just she's growing on me in general however i do not own a single so me anything so it makes no sense for me to buy this so i will not buy it I hope she just puts out more music more often. I feel like she disappears a lot, but she is in YG, so it makes sense. The Boys, Fantasy Part 1, Christmas in August. The name makes less sense to me now. Like, where was the Christmas in August? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, yo, the boys are back. The boys are back in town. Yeah. Now. Me and the boys, oh my gosh, there's a history. A history that you've seen literally on this channel if you've watched the anti hauls. The ups and the downs of me and the boys. I used to collect the boys. Collect in that I wasn't collecting all versions, I was just buying like one a comeback. But the boys kind of dipped on my my list I don't know I really liked fun young youthful the boys and then they went all edgy and and I wasn't connecting with them as much as I used to and they had a comeback and I went nah nah I'd rather not spend money and so I didn't actually I might have just forgotten to buy their album <laughs> I think that's what happened where I was like oh I'm gonna buy it and then they passed and I never bought it and I was like oopsies well don't know if I'm gonna buy it now and then the next comeback happened and I hadn't bought the last one so I was like well, why am I gonna buy this one because I didn't buy the last one I don't want to buy two albums that's so much money so now I just have stopped collecting the boys but then they dropped this it's so good the boys are back my the boys are back and the b-sides passion fruit Yeah, I saw that KCON performance. I've seen the dance. I can't remember the last time I screamed at a K-pop dance. 
But I actually screamed when I first saw this performance. I dropped everything that I was doing. My jaw was on the floor. I was clutching my pearls, or rather my choker. <laughs> Wow. I love this. I am so happy that they're back doing music that I love, at least for this. I'm excited for part two because this is like a full album, but they like split it up into parts. I don't really care for that. Um, I'm not gonna buy it because I have stopped collecting the boys. It would just bother me too much if I only bought this and didn't buy the stuff I was missing. And I just don't have the money to buy the stuff that I'm missing. I'm just fine. I'm fine not having a collection for the boys. Like, I am evolving okay old me was just buying all willy-nilly new money saving me is not about to just buy random albums from random groups not that they're a random group but like i'm just trying to be more smart okay joe yuri love all oh my freaking god this is so good this ep is amazing Every single song is so good. And I'm so bummed now that I haven't been collecting Yuri, which I talk about this like every time of like, oh, I think I'm going to buy it eventually, maybe used. And then I never buy it used. I never buy it because I just don't want to spend the money. If you don't know, this is Yuri from Eyes One. She has a solo career. She has a divine voice and I love her music. I have her debut album. I never kept up since because I just don't really like buying solo artist albums at full price. Part of me thinks it's because the photo cards aren't as fun, so I'd rather just buy them used for like $5, which I sometimes do and sometimes I just forget. <laughs> so, But yeah, this EP, so good, you have to check it out. It is, ah, so good. Ah, I love it. I should listen to it more. I don't know why I don't. But when it comes on my playlist, I always go, ooh, especially, uh, oh, what's the one I like? Is it Black Lemonade Tea? Does that make sense? Is that the name? Lemon Black Tea. I hope it's close enough. I'm telling you, all I need to hear is that intro. Mm. What is this? Ooh, 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 ooh. So good. But... Not gonna buy it for reasons I mentioned earlier. Chick A, pop a lot, a K hip hop dude. So we in the K, not pop. A 17 track album, which feels excessive, but it actually didn't feel that long. Like I've listened to some long K not pop albums. This one, I didn't really feel the length. So that's kind of nice. Lots of great features on it. Big naughty. Oh, I'm such a big naughty phase this year ever since his ep from earlier this year like i love him and that was my favorite track from this jk only does jewel cases from what i've seen and i just i was never gonna buy it anyway to begin with but ew jewel cases are so gross so no definitely not buying it ensign birth of cosmo a new boy group from nature's company i believe they have actually been putting out a lot of music before this. So this is their like, I guess, official debut or at least debut physical mini or album, whatever. But they did have like a pre-debut album thing and they've been releasing songs kind of throughout the year and then this kind of like got them all together. Um, at least that's my understanding. That's my interpretation. So cool. I didn't care for it that much, but new boo boy groups really not my wheelhouse it's really not the type of music i go for one thing i have to point out though is all the freaking marketing or teasers for this debut just made me keep thinking that it was triple s related because of the whole cosmo thing and that's the whole triple s app and it even just looks like it and i know i'm not alone on this <laughs> i know a lot of people thought this was like triple s related somehow it's not it's it's not i don't know i just wanted to share that artbeat v doobie doobie artbeat back with a new name adding a v at the end and i did talk about them in my 2022 
rookie girl group video <laughs> if you want to know more about them. I'm very surprised that they had a comeback. It also has a physical and it's a bop. Like, it's a song that you just bop de bop de bop along to. Like, how can you resist the bouncing, you know? As for buying, that is a no. It is one song and I don't like buying albums that are just one song and I don't have their debut anyway, so it's a no. Tan. Tan made. I. This group is always so weird for me. I feel like I'm always just genuinely surprised at how much I kind of like it, like whenever they come back. And I think this is their best because it is literally a knockoff of NCT 127 Superhuman, which is such a banger of a song. So this is a banger. <laughs> but I mean, as for like the rest of the album, meh. They had a lot of like unit songs from what I remember, which meh, I don't care for those that much. But cool work, boys. Keep doing what you're doing, but I won't be buying. Inne, The Lost Diary. Ooh, we have a K not pop girl that I have never talked about because I never knew who she was until I listened to this. And can I just say, obsessed, obsessed. I very much have a type when it comes to the K not pop artist. And it's these girls with kind of these like cute, nasally, quirky type of voices. And she fits in that mold and I love her. And this was one of my favorite finds of the month. I think this EP is so good. I liked every single song on it. You gotta check her out. And her physical isn't a jewel case. Oh my god. I didn't think it could be done. But a K-Not Pop artist releasing a physical that's not a jewel case. It's insane. It looks like essentially what the album art is. That little like diary thing. And the album itself is on a USB. So pretty cool stuff. I'm not gonna buy it. Would I love to have this? Sure. Do I want to spend the money? No. <laughs> so I won't. Stacy, Teen Fresh. I did in fact buy this, so we will not be talking about it here. Triple S, Love Lucian, Muhan. Um, yeah, I definitely bought this because I'm kind of like the Triple S girl. Um, we can talk about this on the Oh My Patreon. We will not be talking about it here. Lucy, Fever. Lucy the band they have returned and I think this is probably one of my more favorite EPs from them from my little memory of their previous stuff but I thought it was quite pleasant uh, but in general K bands really aren't my cup of tea. If you are someone who really likes anime music I would check this group out because they definitely have an anime sound to them because of that violin dude going at it, man. He adds some flair to their sound. I will not be buying this. Jihyo, Zone. Jihyo from Twice, finally getting her solo. And okay, hear me out. She looks amazing. Amazing. But like, I just don't really like Twice's in general, like their vocal styling. I mean, I felt this with Nyan as well. I'm not a once, so. <laughs> I don't really want an entire song of just Nyan. I don't really want an entire song of just Jiho. So then to have a full EP of just Jiho, not really for me. Now I will say on second listen I did enjoy it a bit more but in general the song styling that Jihyo went for her solo not really my cup of tea but I really can't emphasize enough how amazing she looked. Like she looks so good as like a solo star. I ended up somehow buying Nayeon's solo debut. I don't remember when I did it but I know I unboxed it in an unboxing video that hasn't come out yet but I don't plan on buying this one. I think in general I might be done buying Twice albums, which <laughs> looks a little sad, but it's just, it's just where I'm at in my collecting phase, I guess. Everglow, All My Girls. Yeah! Everglow! Oh my god, they're back! They're back! It's been too long. It's been way too long. 
Thank God they're back. Don't understand why it's only three songs. I know there was time to make more. Whatever. I will take what we can get. And we got a world tour. Woo! No light stick though, which is weird. Because Yenna and Tempest got light sticks, but no tour. Everyone got a tour and no light stick. I don't... Whatever. Whatever. Um, so I am talking about this, which means I didn't buy it. And this is actually the first Everglow album I didn't buy. Which is extra crazy when I've been buying all versions of Everglow albums and buying signed copies of them. I don't know, guys. That's just where I'm at now, where, like, it's so hard for me to be like, yeah, I want to buy this album when it's not my ult. It's so hard. My ult's put out so much that, like, they bankrupt me alone. And on top of that, I didn't like this comeback, which is really disappointing because I was really excited for them. The way I felt listening to it is, like, it would have been probably fine if it came out, like, what, two years ago when they disappeared, but... You know, trends have changed, and I felt like Everglow didn't evolve within that time period that they were gone. It was a bummer. I don't even remember how this goes. Hopefully, they'll put out some more music. Like I said they are on tour. They are coming to DC, so I might try to see them. I would like to support them, so maybe I'll go. We'll see. I'm not buying this though. At least right now, right now. I uh, will reevaluate. <laughs> Primrose, Laffy Taffy. The Laffy Taffy. The Laffy Taffy. Girl, shake that Laffy Taffy. So, this is a new girl group. I talked about them at debut. Here they are now. No longer a duo, but a quadro. They have four girls. Two of them, which are former <laughs> idols. Um, we have Nayeon from Hot Issue, as well as Rainy from Bugaboo. So happy to see girls from groups that I loved still in the industry. And I like Primrose. I think they're a bit... I want to say, it's not that they're too nugu, but they're so close to just putting out music that I love. It's like right there. I think it is a bit of like the nugu production which is why I'm not like, ah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but I am really excited seeing them put out music and I'm going to be really excited for when they have a comeback because they're in that right direction. Like I said, they're just so close. They are so close to getting me on board. So maybe the next comeback, I'm not going to buy it, but I mean, we've talked about this, me and money. <laughs> Vanner, Veni, Vidi, Vici. Oh my gosh, I feel like Vanner has not been around. I feel like they disappeared. I might be wrong, but cool. Hello, boys. Uh, some good songs on here. I was ready to like skip them this month, but like I make sure I still listen to the things before I decide if I'm going to skip them. But I actually enjoyed some of the songs. Um, Want You Back, I liked it. Even if they referenced Mr. Beast in it, <laughs> but it would make no sense for me to buy this. So I'm not going to buy it. Yaren, Ready, Set, Love. So this is Yaren from G-Friend, her first comeback since debut. Not really a fan of it, at least like title track wise, but the real star of the show is the dance. And like my friends were talking about this song and I heard them talk about it and I was like, huh, how good could it really be? <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> it is a mood. It is a vibe. It is a jam. It is a bop. Makes you want to dance. As for buying, no. Wasn't a G-Friend collector. I haven't bought any of the post-G-Friend stuff. No, 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 no. Not starting new collections right now. <laughs> I can't do that. Plave. Asterum. The shape of things to come. <laughs> this group. <laughs> so this is a new boy group from this year. They have like a huge fan base, which you might be confused about. You probably never heard of them. Yet somehow on MakeStar, they have over like 900 people doing the cheer on for their video calls, which is an absurd amount. And the craziest part about it is this is like a VTuber group. Not necessarily like actual VTubers, but they have like an animated AI thing. I mean, they're real people, but they have like an AI 
thing. <laughs> Makes me wonder how those video calls work. <laughs> I don't care for the music, but I'm fascinated by them. I don't plan on buying this, no. NCT, Golden Age. Yeah, I bought it solely for my NCT Dream Collection. That's it. We'll talk about it in the Patreon. TIOT, Frame the Blueprint, Prelude to Possibilities. Dude, can we end album names like that? I hate that so much. Anyways, new boy group, and I approve. I actually kind of like this title. It bangs. Even the first track, pretty good. The rest, like, after that, me, 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 whatever. Let's, let's think about the, like, positives. I don't, like, love them. I don't stand, but I'm intrigued. So I will look out for them in the future, but I will not be buying this. No. Signature, Us in the Summer. Ooh. Ooh, I am so close to loving this title. So, so close. But I just don't. It's it's like the Primrose thing where I'm like, oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. But there's something that didn't click in my brain for me to love it. But at least we have the B-sides. The B-sides? Got some good stuff. I like the first song. And then, I'm sorry, shit. I'm so sorry, sorry. <laughs> if you think I'm joking. I'm sorry. It's so good. As for buying it, I used to buy some signature stuff and then I stopped and I'm pretty okay with stopping and buying signature stuff. Exxon, Synchronicity. New girl group that did debut earlier this year, but I didn't talk about them because I don't think they had a physical then. So now we have a physical and not my cup of tea. It is girl crushy, it is noise, it is loud which is not the girl group music I typically listen to. So I will not be buying this. High key, soul dreaming. Fresh out of the Queendom puzzle hype, we have a high key comeback. And what is this commercial <laughs> title track? What is this? Why am I listening to an ad for the city of soul? It bothers me. I don't know. I was a bit... Mm about it. And as much as I loved the high key girls on Queendom Puzzle, I did not love this, which was a bit disappointing because I was feeling the hype. I was feeling the excitement. This didn't quite have the same energy as the stuff I've liked from them. I feel very negative. This isn't bad. Like there's some good stuff here. The two singles they have are good. They're just not what I was like really hoping for. And it's not the type of music I listen to. But the good news is that means I won't buy it. <laughs> and I don't have to collect high key. Whew. That was a close one. Uh, that was the last album. We do have some extras to talk about. Chu has a light stick. Yeah, Chu light stick. It's a little flower thing. It reminds me of like the little daisy like uh, hose thing. Anyone, anyone have the same childhood as me? Anyone remember that? I don't know. I don't plan on buying it though. Thought about it. I like kind of like it because it looks weird. I I shouldn't buy it, so I won't. Jisoo, me, photo book special edition. Uh, I think this is like a special edition of her solo. How long ago was that? Was that this year or was that last year? I honestly can't remember, but I didn't buy that, so I won't buy this. Ooh, ah, first photo book, Goodbye Summer. My girl's got a photo book. Oh my God, I would have loved to come back, but I'll take it. I will take this. And yes, I will be buying it because I love Ooh, ah. And with that, we're done. Wow, the month of August. I feel like I was a bit of a Debbie Downer, but I also feel like there is some really good stuff. But for the most part, my ults are all quiet and asleep because they all decided to come back in July. So I'm just trying to enjoy myself for right now. For September, we have some good stuff coming out in September. I'm excited. I have a lot of concerts coming up, which is really hype. Oh, TXT announced something. That's not until October. So <laughs> got some time until then. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep trying to save money. Join the Mad Money Club for sad girls. Anyway, I've got to go. So... I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go. But have a lovely time of day wherever, whenever you are. It is currently 12.50 a.m. Oops, I didn't mean for me to film this late. Bye-bye. <laughs> ah,